Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Kristen Foster's 1,000 subscriber celebration. And she is scrapping on the fly. And uh, it is also a punched out Thursday to die for. So we'll be using our punches and or dies to create our layout. And it is also Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And Kristen is the one who created the sketch for today. I am going to use arrows instead of the strips of paper. And I will have circles, but they won't be in the same place. They will be gears also. And I will be scrapping this picture of my great niece, Chloe. And the video is kind of blur blurry, so I'm going to apologize for that. I looked at the little screen, but you really cannot tell looking at that little screen. However, I, this one's not a big screen. I think it looks blurry on here. I'm going to use those close to my heart alphas. And I'm also going to use gear dies or Tim Holtz, plus some odds and end ones that I have. But I forgot to pull them out. I am not going to use those foam alphas. Uh, I am going to use that longest arrow there, and it's by Quick Cuts. Since I am going to have my arrows going over the top of this background piece. Oh, and I did turn my the sketch to the right. But uh, since it's going to go behind the arrows, I added some dark blue cardstock to the back of it to help it show up just a little bit more. Uh, there is five strips of paper in the sketch. I'm going to use six arrows. They were a little bit on the skinny side. so And also I went pointing left to right and so on. So it made them look a little bit closer together because the arrowhead is there. And I didn't measure to make sure I put them in certain spots to have them really even. So you will notice they are not perfectly even. I wasn't, uh, well, I wanted the variety of the little bit of difference that's going to be on each one. I didn't want them all exactly the same. I did have to cut them down a tiny bit. They go the length of the 12 by 12 paper, and I wanted them just a little bit shorter so I could stagger them back and forth. Well, they're not really staggered. But y'all know what I mean. <laughs> I didn't want them hanging off the page. Or exactly going from side to side. My title is with those close to my heart uh, dies. I think they're called classic. I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure. My friend Colleen gave me the number ones over a year ago. Maybe close to two years ago. And I ordered the alphas to go with them because I liked them so much. They're nice and big, and I cut them out in red and also in blue and put the blue on the bottom and just kind of offset it. And the title is hashtag number one serious driver in the Dells. And that's what the she is my uh, sister-in-law's granddaughter. And uh, she gave me, well, a hard drive with a bunch of pictures on it. And she had it saved with that title. So I went ahead and used it for the title on my layout. Well, she didn't have the hashtag number one. She had everything else, though. So I just thought it would be cute adding it. But if you look at the picture, well, you can't tell too much since it is blurry. But Chloe has a dead serious face. I mean, she is serious about her driving. And when I first started to do the sketch that uh, Kristen made, I thought, well, I'll make some lattice board with strips of paper. And then I remembered it was also punched out Thursday. So I had to think of something that I could use. Well, first I thought of these lace looking panels that I have that's Tim Holtz. And I thought about putting them end to end and using them and doing them in different colors. And then I happened to think of these arrows and I thought, I could do that and turn it to the right instead of have them going up and down. But I got to find a photo. So I thought, well, I'm, surely I've got a photo where kids are in bumper cars. I don't like bumper cars. I don't like the smell. But anyway, I couldn't find them right away. But I did find this one right away. And I remembered that there was stickers that say stuff about 
go-karts in this collection. And I think I forgot to mention the collection. This is Family Fun. I think it's what it's called. It's by Simple Stories and has all kinds of games and fun things that you can do. So there is a sticker there. I did take the stickers and put them on cardstock so I could add foam tape behind them. But there is one that says go karts. But Chloe is on a go kart. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this is where her mommy works. So uh, she got to do it pretty often. And she took it very seriously every time. Um, I am layering my gears here and there and making little clusters with the gears included. And when I cut out the gears, the little pieces fell out, you know, that's in the dies and made the little, well, triangle things plus a bunch of circles and they're different sizes. So I'm adding them to the little clusters too. <laughs> I was watching a video yesterday and it was one of those that pop up after you go through your whole queue and they're done and you're still scrapbooking or whatever you're doing. And these ones pop up that you don't even know who the uh, creator is. Anyway, she had used her punches and she was calling the pieces that fell out punch poop. I have called the pieces that have fallen out on my uh, punches and, well, in my head, not out loud. <laughs> uh, and also from the dies, punch droppings or die droppings, <laughs> but that's pretty much the same thing. But yeah, she was calling them punch poop. So if you didn't know what to call them, there's a couple of ideas right there. <laughs> but while I am working on these little clusters and stuff, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the link to Kristen's channel and everybody else that is doing the hop with her. So be sure to check out her channel. You will enjoy her videos and everybody else is down there. It is also uh, 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. So there will be a playlist down there for you to check out to see what everybody else is doing. And since I did remember that it was punched out Thursday to die for. Boy, it come along so quick. I was just really surprised. But I used my punches and dies. Well, I did use punches because on the ones that are stickers that are around, I use punches to go behind them so that they would stand up. Well, I'm looking at my layout. I punched them out, but did I use any? I don't see where I used them. And I think I did three. They're laying there under all that stuff and didn't make it to the layout. So I guess I didn't use punches after all, but it did use dies. Oh, I forgot to mention that top arrow may not look familiar to you if you have this collection. And that's because it's not in it. It came from a My Mind's Eye paper, but it matched really good and I stuck it in the collection. Um, let's see. I think I'm getting really close to getting done. I'm adding, oh yeah, this is my last cluster. I will add a couple of gears and some of the little dots. And also I'm gonna remember to pull out a puffy sticker. And the one I pull out is a camera. So that last little cluster will be it. I am sure. <laughs> I don't know. I just did this last night and I don't know if it is or not come to think of it. But uh, it looks like I'm getting the end of the video part. So I'm thinking that's the last I do. Um, the collection is a lot of fun too. I don't know if it's still available. But uh, my picture has mostly pink in it. And I don't always use all the colors in the picture. There is some yellow and I did use yellow. But I'll hold the papers up against it and think, okay, does it look all right? Do I like it or do I not? And I held the papers up against the picture and decided, yes, I liked it. So I just decided to ignore the pink and create the layout without it. And I'm still happy with it when I got done. So yeah, I went with these more, more primary colors. They're not super, super bright, but they are more primary. 
But if you leave a comment below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love, love, love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave. I really enjoy reading them. And they do make my day. But, uh, yeah, there's that last little cluster. And if you look down below also, as I mentioned before, is Kristen's channel. So make sure you go over there and congratulate her on her 1,000 subscribers. And check out all the other links, including the playlist one. Have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.